What's up, guys? You're welcome to Malcolm TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities, and metro stories. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline of today's news read article reportedly under investigation for trying to unseat Buhari. Before I go over to reading today's news to you, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos in our channel, please, there's a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, click the bell icon beside it, and you will stay updated whenever we publish news like this without missing any news again. Alright, for those of you wanting to make money online publishing your own videos to your youtube channel we have a good news for you we are conducting a training that will teach you how to get paid publishing news either as celebrity entertainment football news to your own website so if you are interested there's an email below contact me and i will send you the training uh, video all right security agency are probing alleged plot by the defeated Presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Atiku Abubakar, to prevail on the United States to recognize him as the authentic president of Nigeria. The agencies, the agencies are already on the trail of members of the Atiku Deservation Group behind the printing and distribution of the defeated candidate posters in some part of the country. The poster bore the inscription Puka, which in Hindi, and Uda figuratively means fully formed, solid, permanent, for real, or sure, authentic, genuine, solid, excellent. It was learned that the security agencies are working on a theory that some group loyal to Article were out for subversive activity against Buhari administration. A part of the plot was to lobby members of the inner circle of President Donald Trump and the U.S. Congress to delay its recognition of President Muhammad Buhari. The agenda was said to be an attempt to stop the inauguration of President Muhammad Buhari on May 29. Despite denial by Atiku and the People's Democratic Party PDP, the cable and online news medium yesterday claimed to have confirmed the payment of $30,000 by Atiku to a lobbying firm to, to defeat what he called flagrant violence irregularity orchestrated by the all progressive and worried to compromise the presidential election. According to a top source, the government does not treat the intelligence at a disposal at its disposal on the engagement of the US firm Fain and Del Valle PLLC with levity. The source says the whole script is about subversive plot against the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Security agencies picked up some intelligence and they are already investigating individuals and groups connected with it. It is not a case of carrying wolf or an attempt to intimidate Atiku. Some clues were presented to the Federal Executive Council meeting on Wednesday. In fact, about eight ministers contributed to the issue to underscore the gravity of the case at hand. It was a resolution of fact that the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, should alert the nation through a media briefing. Responding to a question, the source added, What we have at hand point to a semblance of treasonable felony, but security agencies are probing it. They are also on the trail of groups, individuals connected with this fresh plot against the government. All right, guys, uh, what do you guys think about this? This is um, Nigeria security agency are on the trail of um, Atiko Obaka group. There are some group that are allied with Atiko Obaka who, according to security agency, are probably planning, okay? They are planning to uh, lobby the U.S. government not to recognize Buhari. And by so doing, that may have... A consequence on Buhari himself. According to the news, according to the rumor, it is estimated or it is believed that Atik Obaka paid some heavy some amount of money to a particular firm called Fen and Del Valle PLLC. 
and he said uh, according to the rumor it was it was said that he paid thirty thousand dollars though it cannot be confirmed uh but what i want to say here is that this is not a a threat to me this is not a threat at all because um buhari has everything at its disposal so how could how, how could it be threatened by a who doesn't even command the military he doesn't have the police at the disposal no military nothing i mean how could Buhari be threatened by just a mere uh thing of rumor because i would i would say this is a rumor though there's the or there's an online uh cable network i mean a cable um it, it is called the cable it's an online news medium that said they, they have confirmed payment of thirty thousand by article to a lobbying firm to defeat what it called flagrant violence and irregularity ill, irregularities orchestrated by the all progressive congress body to compromise the presidential election so what do you guys think about uh this uh, to me they there should be no alarm on this because Atik Obaka is now running a parallel government and in fact he himself has come out to debunk it that the posters in circulation has nothing to do he is not aware of it so why are they taking uh it's so serious so what do you guys think i want to drop your comment below uh let me know your mind thank you very much